Now, Israel's Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu declared that the country is at war after Palestinian militants in Gaza fired a deadly barrage of rockets and sent gunmen into Israeli territory in a major escalation of the long-running conflict between the two sides. More than 100 people were killed in Gaza today and hundreds injured. The latest escalation comes against a backdrop of surging violence between Israel and Palestinian fighters in the West Bank, which is part of territory illegally occupied by Israel and the blockaded Gaza, Gaza Strip. Rosangoi has more details. Militants launched about 2,200 rockets from the Gaza Strip into Israel, while armed gunmen infiltrated into Israel by land, sea, and air. The attack by Hamas saw fighters cross the perimeter fence after dawn. How the gunmen managed to penetrate one of the most heavily fortified borders in the world is unclear. Multiple explosions were heard over Jerusalem, Tel Aviv, and in southern Israel, some blast, likely the interceptions of incoming rockets, while air raids sent Israelis pouring into underground shelters. The Israel military said Hamas had taken hostages and prisoners of war, but did not give a figure. Israel responded by launching strikes on what it called Hamas targets in Gaza. The Palestinian Health Ministry said that nearly 200 Palestinians had been killed and 1,610 injured, but did not say where the deaths occurred or whether the toll included Hamas militants or civilians in Gaza. Unverified videos on social media showed bodies of a number of people in military fatigues, as well as dead motorists and passengers on a highway. Israel Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu said Israel was at war and vowed that Hamas, the militant group that rules Gaza, will pay a price it has never known. We are at war. In war, one needs to be level-headed. I call on all citizens of Israel to unite in order to achieve our highest goal. Netanyahu said operations were underway to clear out militants from infiltrated towns and that he had also issued a call-up of reservists. The second objective at the same time is to exact an immense prize from the enemy within the Gaza Strip as well. The third objective is to reinforce other fronts so that nobody should mistakenly join this war. The Israel military has said dozens of fighters jets are carrying out airstrikes on Hamas sites in Gaza and it has hit 17 Hamas military compounds. Warplanes destroyed an 11-story tower in downtown Gaza, which houses Hamas radio stations in the rooftop. The attacks by Hamas follow one of the deadliest periods in the Israel-occupied West Bank in nearly two decades. The violence has been driven by frequent Israel military raids in Palestinian towns and cities, which Israel has said are a necessary response to a rising number of attacks by Palestinian militants. <laughs> The surprise assault on Saturday was unprecedented in recent history in its scale and scope, falling on the 50th anniversary of the 1973 war in which Arab states blitzed Israel on Yom Kippur, the holiest day of the Jewish calendar. Countries around the world have condemned a wave of Palestinian attacks on Israel and vice versa.